What's up, a Cinema Shogun here, and I'm sure most of you all probably already know this, but the FIFA World Cup has been going on for the last couple of weeks now. Countries from all over the world are all gathering in Qatar to participate in a huge soccer tournament, or depending on where you live, you may call it a football tournament. But there's been a lot of people complaining about this World Cup. In fact, there's been a lot of drama surrounding it. There's been a lot of controversies coming out of this World Cup. For one, over there in Qatar, they have really strict rules. So they have banned the consumption of alcohol while at the games. And imagine trying to watch soccer while sober. So naturally, all of the fans are pissed off about that. But there's also a lot of other stuff going on that we may talk about in the future. But as I mentioned, they have really strict rules and laws over there. The way of life is totally different. Over there in Qatar, they don't really get down with the LGBTQ plus IA minus stuff that we get down with over here in the US. So they've been banning or kicking out certain people who are showing up to these games and like, pride um clothes you know like wearing rainbow shirts and stuff like that now of course there are also players on the field who are kneeling for various anthems you got players out there with the lgbtq flag on their jersey and i mean i don't see why it's really necessary but if you want to show up to a soccer game wearing pride clothing then i think you should be allowed to but also, this is Qatar. This is not America. So while Americans complain about America and act like it's the most, you know, the most racist and hateful, homophobic place in the world, the reality is we live in the most accepting country on earth. And it's a shock for people when they go overseas and realize that this normalized stuff here in America is not accepted over there. Well, there's a popular soccer journalist by the name of Grant Wall. I've heard of the guy. I'm not really into soccer, so I've heard of him. A lot of people speak really highly of him. And he's been over there in Qatar covering the World Cup. Now, he showed up to a game not that long ago, and he was wearing a pride shirt, like a soccer, surrounded by a rainbow. And while at that game, he was detained by security and they kept him for over 25 minutes simply for wearing that t-shirt supporting LGBTQ rights. He even made this post, free to read. He, he has a whole sub stack about it. What happens when Qatar World Cup security detained me for 25 minutes for wearing a t-shirt supporting the LGBTQ rights, Forceful, forcibly took my phone and angrily demanded that I remove my t-shirt to enter the stadium. I refused. So they detained this guy. They took his phone, treated him horribly. He refused to comply with them. But the story doesn't end there. Unfortunately, the story doesn't end there. Today, I believe, during the Argentina game, Grant Wall was covering that game. And it's being reported that just randomly during the game, he just dropped dead out of nowhere. Perfectly healthy dude, a young guy. I mean, he's not like, a teenager or anything, but a healthy, relatively young man just drops dead in the middle of a soccer game. And they're reporting, oh, he, he just collapsed. He passed away. NPR can confirm the death of longtime soccer sports writer Grant Wall. He died today in Doha, Qatar, while covering the Argentina-Netherlands World Cup quarterfinal. Story to come. So we're still waiting on more information. But the official report is that this guy just dropped dead. But let me tell you this. 
There's a reason why I'm here talking about this story. Because I came across something that is utterly bone chilling. Grant's brother spoke out and he's asking for help. And instead of explaining to you all what he said, I want you all to watch this clip. And I'll be right back with my thoughts. My name is Eric Wall. I live in Seattle, Washington. I am Grant Wall's brother. I'm gay. I am the reason he wore the rainbow shirt to the World Cup. My brother was healthy. He told me he received death threats. I do not believe my brother just died. I believe he was killed. And I just beg for any help. My name is Eric. Now let me start by saying this. I really, really hope in my heart that Grant's brother that we saw in that video, I hope he doesn't feel guilty because Grant was wearing that shirt. Grant was wearing that shirt because he loved his brother and he wanted to support his brother. And wearing that shirt should have never resulted in anything happening to Grant. Now, we don't know if something happened to Grant. Grant's brother seems to believe that foul play is involved. And I gotta say, looking at the story, it looks really weird. We know how Qatar feels about certain things. We know that the security ran into this guy earlier. They treated him poorly. And I wouldn't be surprised if something happened to him while at that game. For a totally healthy young man to just pass out, that's one thing. But to pass out and just die right there while covering a big soccer game, one of Grant's favorite things to do. No signs of any health issues beforehand, as far as I know. The only thing that we know that happened before this was that he was detained not too long ago for wearing that shirt. So I wonder if he pissed off the wrong security official who knew that they could make Grant collapse at the World Cup. I don't want to say anything too crazy here, and I don't want to go off on you know, any wild speculations, but the situation looks extremely odd. And I feel really bad for Grant's brother. And right now he looks frantic, he looks emotional, and it looks like he's just trying to find answers. He's trying to find help. And if he believes that something is wrong here, then I'm definitely not going to be the one to tell him that he's wrong. Especially when I... <laughs> When I looked at this story, I looked at the story before I even saw what Grant's brother said. And I already felt like something was weird here. Now we know, let me say this. We know there has been a mysterious uprise and the young people collapsing and dying from myocarditis, heart issues, blood clots. Ever since the lockdowns, there's just been this mysterious thing going on. I can't put my finger on why. Who knows why? I, I, I have no clue, right? I can't even think of, of a single reason as to why. Hmm. All of these young people are starting, and young, healthy, fit people at that. This dude isn't some heavyweight dude. Isn't some out of shape dude. He's a perfectly trim, in shape young dude that just dropped dead. And we're seeing athletes, soccer players at that, dropping dead, 25-year-old soccer players dropping dead. People are just dropping dead all of a sudden for some odd reason. So I don't know what's going on here. Either way, it's not normal. And I believe that either foul play is involved or maybe we just have another case of one of those mysterious deaths that have been happening ever since the lockdowns. I want to continue looking into this situation, though. At the time of this recording, you will be seeing this video a couple of hours after I record it. So there may be more updates. And if there are, I will be covering those updates. 
But right now, I'm definitely going to start looking into this situation. I encourage other people to do so as well, because this is one of those situations that happened overseas. And you know how those things get swept under the rug. So I definitely think that this is an important story to cover, and I'll be looking into it from here. But for now, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is going on here? Do you think that just a freak accident happened? They happened. That's possible. You never know when your time's going to come. Do you think it was something like that? Do you think that, that, that possibly somebody took this dude's life and made it appear as if, as if he just collapsed? Or, or are we just getting a totally bogus story when in reality something happened to him? You know, different. I, I want to see the autopsy report and all of that stuff with this case because I got a bad feeling about it. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will talk to you all in the next video.